and welcome back to another video about the Synquasar Gigabyte Lenaro Enterprise 96 Boards Edition Developer Box featuring the Synquasar SOC 24 core 1 giga, one gigabyte. Uh, one gigahertz. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, so we have the uh, box here. We did an unboxing video already. Please check the description. You have all of the resources that you need there to get uh, you know up to date with what we're doing. We did the unboxing, and now we're going to put this board together. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Great. All right. So I'm um, set up, and I'll be actually going ahead and assemble everything and show you guys how. So first, we have the board, and we need to take it out, put it on a non-conductive. Thing, like this can, box can we can we walk through all the different components again yeah. real quick? all right so this is the main motherboard with this uh, synquiz soc and everything else populated uh, we get the hard drive in the kit we get a four gigabyte of ram in the kit we get the io plate and every other accessory except for the screwdriver of course. and this phone <laughs> and this phone um we get the graphic card and we get the uh case the yeah case so we are going to assemble everything and probably it should help you in case you are trying to do so as, as well. Um, so we'll start with installing the memory and you need to take care. Uh, we'll link a PDF in the description as well as the product page. You need to take care. It goes in a very specific order. So the first memory would go on this slot, uh, followed by the second memory on this and then third and fourth or third and fourth. Uh, uh, always do uh, refer to the manual now you need to take care of the notch and see where it is align it with the notch or first open up the tabs so it looks like it goes black green black green yeah and align it with the notch make sure you do that and press the tabs closed uh, there you go that's the memory installed now we can go ahead open up the case um, and install everything else as we go for, okay. well, so you um, already you already pulled off the side hatch right yeah so the side hatch has been pulled off we did some pre preparations to like make the video a bit more uh, streamlined streamlined yeah <laughs> so so the front panel IO panel comes off you need to take care of these three tabs and you can just push them and it should just come out now this Thing right here this actually houses the fan if you need one now the synquiz soc does not get very hot so you should not need this but uh, just in case you have a big graphic card or some sort of accelerator inside in the on the pc slot you would need this so first of all there is a real, real quick yeah. it looks like also so you have the power supply yeah. in here right this already came in the box yeah, right it does so we didn't install this this was just already pre-installed inside yeah. the box so most of the experience is like building a normal pc so the power supply comes with the uh, with this case, then that's the standard. So what you want to do is there's a one screw here and open that up. And now this is where uh, you need to be careful. Now instead of trying to pull this apart, you need to lift it in a way that it kind of um, opens up like a hinge and then you can pull it back out uh, once that's done keep it on the side same thing with the with this plastic piece lift it and that's about it so now in order to install the synquase uh, motherboard what you need to do is take out the front ios uh, and there are two two screws for that up top So we can just unscrew that and that and the whole IO comes out with the wires just be careful not to cut them the metal is kind of sharp so once that is out you have more room um, in here and you can put all of the I, uh, all of the power cables from the power supply aside now you can take now first you need to get the IO plate that comes with it make sure all the IOs are facing downwards and just on this um, area from you from the inside just press it a bit hard and it should snap in now 
You might want to use a bit more brute force. There you go. Yeah. So with the IO shield in, you can take your sink with some other board and make sure the IO is facing the IO shield and carefully lower it down and not scratch it. So usually if you're building a PC, these um, standoffs don't come installed. In this case, they are. So we can skip that. I just want to add, right? Yeah. So like right now we're kind of, we're kind of just handling this board a little, <laughs> probably not the best way, but if you do have any sort of anti-static glove yeah. or anti-static wristband, uh, that will also be something that would benefit um, the installation. lining up there yeah they're like a few uh, tabs ground tabs that you need to pull up and there we go make sure all the screw holes are aligned properly and it fits stably it should not move while in this position and then you can go ahead and start securing it in so there are two screws. Are those the screws or do you need these size? These size? Uh, is it? These were the ones so. that were taken off of. Uh, well, you can try those, but. So you want to try the smaller screws and secure them in. So two of them go here. No, no. The other ones will do. Okay. So make sure these are the type of screws you use. Screw that in tightly. How many of them are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. All right, so with that done, the board is in place. We'll go to graphics next. So for that, you have a kind of a shield, a tab here that you want to remove. For that, you remove the screw on the side. And, uh, There we go, and then this should come off. Now, uh, you can see we have an empty slot here, but actually uh, this slot was earlier populated with tabs similar we, to what we have here, and you can just push it from the outside and it should just break apart. Um, you take your graphics card, align it with the 16X slot, and what you want to do is make sure you have this screw opened up. And then align that. Make sure you have the notch correct on the PCI slot. And once that is done, you can push it down like this and secure it in place. Again, take your screw and tighten it down, give it a little bit of wiggle and that is secured. So what I usually do is I go for the hard drive first to, you know, uh, because the 24 power connector actually restricts a lot of access. So what I'll do is go for the hard drive. Now with the hard drive, you would need this very thin SATA cable will uh, the performance shouldn't be affected with the thinness but yeah so this is the hard drive slot up front this is where you insert your hard drive and uh, there is no cover it comes as such um, make sure the IOs are facing backwards and uh, your SATA plug is plugged in 
because it's going to be difficult plugging in from the other side and you just sort of push it in now where it's coming in you can actually go ahead and grab a SATA power connector something like where is it no something like this and just connect it while, while it's still loose Make sure you have the indent correct. Don't force it in too much. And that should be it. So once that is done, you can see, you can uh, go ahead and align the uh, hard drive screw holes with the mount holes on the case and take your screw. The smaller one should do. And screw them in. So that's what I'm doing. I'm handing you screws. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Yeah. So the other end of the SATA connector, you can go ahead and plug into the Let's get a little SATA ports little on board. Here. And I'd suggest you plug the first hard drive to the SATA port one. And if it's kind of just got a little tangled there. Yeah. Can you reach it? Yeah, almost. There you go. And then plug that in. So that's your hard drive setup, that's your graphic card setup. All we need is to set up the IO plate. Now, the IO plate, if you can see, it has two USB 3, two USB 2, and audio. Now, the USB 2s and audio does not have a port on board, but the USB 3 port can be uh, plugged into the main board. So all, all you need to do is make sure the audio connectors are up top, facing up top, and then you can just reel this in like that. So the two screws that were yeah. used there, I believe, were these, right? screw everything back in place Oops. yeah and I just want to remind everyone that uh, with this with this uh, installation right uh, the, the folks um, I believe at Socionext or Lenaro have thrown together a very nice PDF uh, with all of the instructions that we're going through right now um, and if you do get stuck uh, you can always visit the 96boards.org forums uh, where we would be glad to help you out uh, getting through all this, right? And the IO plate, IO, front IO is on. Um, now what you want to do is get the USB 3 uh, connector. Make sure you have the notch right to the notch on the connector, which is right here in the corner. And once you have got it right, uh, you can just go ahead and I think you should keep because I can see that. Oh, but. Plug that in. And that's your front USB 3 working. So if you don't have an audio add-on board, that's not an issue because the HDMI from the graphic card should provide audio just fine. Um, so these two will remain dangling inside the board. The last bit for now would be to connect the 24-pin uh, uh, power connector and this is the standard one so in case you want to really power some uh, very uh, power consuming graphic processing unit or something like that you can actually change your um, power supply unit to a more beefy one that um, and a standard PC power supply unit should do we know fine. what the supply provides no mm, okay 
so this might require a bit more force uh, so don't be shy but just make sure you don't force it too much and once it once it's in you should hear a click or at least feel it and that should be that just make sure that's <coughs> properly seated on Alright, so everything's boots, powered, everything's uh, the front uh, buttons and LEDs for the uh, power button and hard drive light and a couple of other things uh, go right here. So they have their labeling and what you need to do is make sure the label uh, on the on the connector faces down. That's why that's how the polarity is correct and always you can refer to the documentation or on the PDF which I'll do right now yeah. all right so so the first one is SATA LED uh, and that's actually labeled as hard drive LED and yeah we need to get back to that as well and that goes here like that all right well so i mean we can follow those yeah. those those uh those instructions it looks like basically what you need to do is you need to check out the instructions on there make sure that those pins are lined up and uh right now we're just having light issues so we can't really see but that that should be fine right it looks like all of them are hooked up yeah and one is off and that's fine and that's basically what it says in the instructions so the last thing we want to do is we want to hook this in we want to make sure that this is screwed back in properly there you go And then once we get all of this done, there's going to be one more video afterwards uh, that, that uh, hopefully we can get recorded, but uh, we're going to boot this up for the first time as well. So uh, that'll be exciting. Okay, so that's it, right? Yep. So now we can just start putting all these other little yep. pieces back on. So be careful, you know, not to snip any wires or anything, but the plastic goes on first, doesn't it? Or do you yeah. There you go. Looks like. And this is for the fan mount. Mm -hmm. There you go. So this gets put yeah, in there. No, it's, it's, it's fine. No, it's on the run. Oh. oh right. Move that aside. There you go. Yep. All right, so that should hold everything in. All right, now let's pop this on. Yeah. Okay. This goes on like this. All right, slides on down. Okay. That goes on. So now we're all set there. A couple more screws right here. And uh, and then goes the faceplate. <laughs> And so we're going to grab this, get this ready here, pop this back on. Perfect. A little filter for the fan. And so there you have the dev box. It's all ready. Um, slide your panel back on and, um, and you're good to go. In the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to boot this up and we're going to see what happens. We'll explore the operating system that comes on board and if you have any more questions, We'll put some links in the description below. IRC. IRC. Find us on IRC. Hashtag 96 boards. Yeah. Hashtag open hours. As well as the 96boards.org forum. So uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you.